Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here. Sunday the 2nd of July, 2023. Right, this will be a quick one. Not a short, but not far off short. So, um, as you will have seen, we took this to a BSA Aerial 3 Facebook group event at Kinnerton in Warwickshire yesterday. And uh, we thought it was all prepared. And it let me down with fuel starvation. We couldn't keep it running. It would start 100 yards down the road. It would fail. And classic fuel starvation problems. In the process as well, um, the clutch, sorry, the choke cable appeared to break. But I found that um, there's a little, oh, I can't, there we go, focus. There's a little screw nipple here and the, the cable had come out of that. Uh, but luckily it was in pretty good condition. So that's fixed. And these are Terrible to start without choke. You can, but you need to pedal an awful, awful long way before they'll pick up off idle with, with no choke. So that's fixed. Anyway, as you saw, what we, what we did yesterday was um, we were trying to get, well, assess the fuel flow from both the tap here and down the carb. And um, it was obvious that there's a lot of crud in the tank because initially, we took the union off the bottom of the tap here, opened the tap and only a few drips came out. And if we pushed something up the tap, then it would loosen the crud and it would start flowing out for a while and we thought we'd be okay. Um, but looking at some of the fuel that came out, it was uh, full of crud. And there's this uh, dome nut that holds the union on at the bottom there and that collects muck and um, you won't be able to see this very well but in the bottom of that we cleared this out yesterday because it's full of muck and it's full of muck again so I think what's happened is that in transporting this over to the event then I had a couple of hairy moments in the van and this flew around a little bit and nearly fell over and I think it's just upset a lot of crud in the tank which is now sitting over the tap so it just needs to clean out so uh, first of all what I'm going to do is um, let the fuel drain out through the tap out the bottom of the union and into a bowl and we'll we'll see what state it's in uh, I'll give the bowl a bit of a clean first but let's have a look and I'll hopefully I'll show you then just the uh, what the state of it is well it appears to be flowing out okay at the moment from the bottom of the tap but it's a bit of an odd colour considering that um, the uh, two-stroke oil that I put into it was green but also let me just uh, there we go hold the phone a little bit better and I don't know if you can see there in the bottom all those black bits have come out and you can imagine that getting down to the carb as well so um, We'll let this drain out we'll discard this fuel it uh, only holds six pints is uh, maximum capacity on this so it's not going to be much but we'll let that all drain out what we can do is lift the cover on the back there the tank as you can see is actually inside this top cover so all the back will pivot up here and we can get to the the petrol tank and we'll probably remove it and give it a good um, clean out and wash out and if it's the uh, you know inner surface looking a bit dodgy we'll line it we'll have to do it properly um, but um, I haven't had this problem before with it but I haven't done a lot of miles on it really anyway still going more black stuff there there's some over there in the corner there as well tons coming out so yesterday we had to back poke the uh, the tap because it, when it was open at one point there was nothing coming out at all so I think that's what the problem is Right, there you go, varnishy crud on the bottom. I'm not sure it's rust, but we'll just get a screwdriver, do a bit of a scrape down there and see whether, you know, that is just debris lying in the bottom varnish or stuff like that from old fuel and crud or whether, you know, that's the fabric of the tank breaking down.
Sorry, it's not a very good view when I'm wielding the screw, screwdriver, but what I'm trying to show you, you can see big lumps there of surface crud. Um, and as Nick said yesterday, you know, it might be sort of stale fuel varnish on the bottom that's been stirred up by fresh fuel being put in, etc. So we'll take it off, do a quick clean out. Uh, tank fabric itself feels pretty good, I think. Right, engine bay lifted. Still with all the paraphernalia on the back, that's fine. By uh, re releasing these four plastic clips, just a quarter of a turn. And uh, put the stay on. And then we can just get to the tank, which is held on by what appears to be three screws. So uh, this is going to be oh, famous last words. Hopefully uh, a pretty straightforward job. And all I've got to do now is just take that clean off the bottom like that. Get a new washer sorted out for that because one of them was wrong. We've got the tap there, which actually I do need to unscrew. So we'll do that first and we'll take the tank out. Right, tank off and there's a, a better view of the crud in the bottom. And an even better indication is taking the fuel tap off. Do you think that might be a problem? Good God. Totally blocked. Also found as well, which I think we're going to have to replace. You might not be able to see this too well down here. But the fuel line to me, look, look at all that, that dark area there. Along there, I think that's full of, full of crud too. Didn't stand a damn chance. Right, I think we found the problem. Tank looks, as I said, the tank fabric looks good. Let's um, get a long screwdriver again. Look at that. Now you can see it. tank underneath all that crud so what we'll probably do is um, put some solvent in the tank seal it up where um, maybe a few um, nuts or something like that all bolt, bolt some nuts and give it a good shake around and that should sort it out I'll bring you back well it's better but it's uh, it's not great um, let me get a torch for you, sorry. In fact, to you, that probably doesn't look any better, but it is. And a ton of crud has come out. I mean, I used uh, some of the same old petrol. Look at that now. A ton of filth came out. But uh, I think we're going to need to seal it, to be sure. So that's what we'll do. Other observations. Um, the tap probably should have a filter on the inside, and that's probably long gone. Also, it's been fitted with four fibre washers. Why it needs that many for a seal, I have no idea, unless it's something to do with getting the, uh, the bottom level right. So I'll check that out. The tap works fine. Um, I think we'll just need to make sure we have a nice clean tank with no filter unless I go for another tap. And then just to show you what came out of the tap. All that came out the top of the tap. So yeah, I think it's definitely sealing time. Um, so I'll order some um, proprietary sealer. I can never remember the damn um, name of the brand that I used on the on the Lightning and the um, Fury SS. 
it escapes me. Anyway, I'll be able to I'll be able to look it up and I'll use the same stuff. So I'll order some of that now. Right, so um, we'll leave it there for now because that tank needs to uh, dry out. So we'll just let it vent and let the uh, the petrol evaporate out, get it well dried out, give it another sort of dry shake round with some um, nuts in it. Get all the last of the loose stuff out that we can, and then we'll uh, we'll put the liner in it. Emptied off the uh, the old petrol. Enough said. Look at it all. God. So uh, we won't mess around trying to unblock that fuel line. We'll just get some new fuel pipe and replace it. And then we need to check the carb too. Right, three days later and it's arrived. So this is what I used, the, the brand name, I couldn't remember. Flowliner Armour Coat. Um, now this pack is a standard pack and it's enough to um, coat, I think, what say, a 20 litre tank. Anyway, resistant to um, alcohol, e.g. Ethanol. You can also see seal fiberglass tanks with it too. Anyway, so essentially it's two pack, basically. You dump all of that in there, mix well, and then pour it in the tank. Um, I'm not going to need all of it, but um, I will mix it, all of it, and just not use it all. Um, you, um, you'll you see how I used it in, in previous uh, videos. If you look up um, one on the Fury SS, I uh, lined that tank with it and also on the A70 Lightning after we originally got it on the road and it's uh, it weeped a bit. Um, I'll try and dig those out and put um, put links in at the end of this uh, at the end of this video if you're interested. But uh, I'm just going to mix this up and Pour it in and then you, uh, for quite a long while, you just keep moving the tank around, side to side, upside down, etc. I've got the um, fuel tap hole blocked off and then I'll just ram some um, shop, what they call shop towel these days, it's an American term anyway, some rag down, some old rag down there just to block the end. And uh, just make sure you keep turning it around as it starts to uh, set so you get a good, nice, thick lining. Now, um, Meanwhile, uh, I think as I showed you in one of the last clips, there was a huge, great lumps of deposit around here on the fuel line. And that little pile is what we got out of it. Unbelievable. Anyway, I was going to put some um, some new stuff on, but uh, the original little pipe, which is a smaller bore actually, has, has cleaned out okay. And that new pipe that I've got is great for the tap end, but for the banjo on the um, carb end, it's really a little bit too uh, big a diameter, it's very loose. I could put a clip on in, on in that, but it um, looks a bit of a mess then. So I think I'm going to actually reuse the uh, the original, and I believe this is the original pipe. And uh, where it was mucked up, you can just see remnants of it around here. I'm going to cut that anyway, and uh, I'm gonna, I've am going got a little fuel filter, inline fuel filter on order. That I'll put in line on that tank because, as I say, the tap, the original tap, which works well and doesn't leak, and which I've lost. Here it is. Uh, it's not. That's the fuel cap. Come on, it's over here somewhere. There it is. Um, I'm sure that should have had a filter on the top there, like uh, like on the big bikes. It's an Enots uh, Enots tap, so it should have. So as it's not got that, we'll put an inline fuel filter on this and that, that'll be job done. It'll be out of sight, out of mind. I know it's not original, which isn't me, but um, I think in this case needs must. Let's do belts and braces and get it right. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I'll get on with this job of lining the tank and then uh, I'll bring you back because then we can um, sit that on the bike overnight, let it cure properly while we uh, tidy everything else up. Okay, next day, and here we are, 
Try to get the light in the right place. That's a bit difficult, but anyway. White, uh, effectively, epoxy resin liner. Now, uh, cured to a certain extent, but it um, shouldn't put petrol in it for seven days. So, um, take the bottom plug out. I've just got to drill, drill that out and uh, clean up the threads a bit before we put the petrol tap back on. I've already refitted the petrol line down onto the carbon, it's banjo right down there. And the petrol tap's ready up the top here. And when the fuel filter arrives, it hasn't arrived yet, then we'll fit it there in between the two uh, cable ties, it'll fit in there nicely. So, tank back on, we'll screw that on. Once we've um, drilled out the, uh, the tap, the tap threads, etc. And we're there, and we'll wait seven days. So, what I'm gonna do now is, this was intended to be short, this uh, video, it's a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be, but anyway, at least you know the issues now, how it's going to be, how it's resolved. And um, I'll finish this off. And next time we see this, it will be um, a test run on the road. And hopefully I'll go a bit better than last time. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks for interest, comments and subscriptions. Next up, um, back on this, finishing this off. And I'll get a video on that and uh, see what's been going on with that since we had the battery charging issues at the Mallory Camp. I um I thought I was going to be waiting for a bit from the apart from the US, but I've managed to find something in stock that I think I'll do, so I can get on with that in short order. Right, that's it. Thanks everybody. Cheers. Bye bye.